What is up guys, it's Kai, and in today's gameplay, I hop on the PC version. And honestly, I haven't flown on the PC version for maybe a couple months. I actually hopped on the PC version this weekend because it was double XP weekend, and I wanted to catch up on my infantry classes. I actually already ranked up all my classes to rank 10 on my PS4 count. You probably already noticed one of the visual glitches in the gameplay. It's one of the reasons that I don't really record gameplay on the PC version anymore because, let's face it, my PC is pretty old by now. Whenever I try to record gameplay on the PC version, there's a lot of glitches and it crashes a lot. Especially when I'm trying to fly, rendering those long draw distances. I recorded this dogfight over the weekend though because I was really trying to ground pound and rank up infantry classes. But this guy in a plane on Foul Fortress was like 57 and 0 and he killed me like 5 times. So I said enough was enough and I decided to get into a plane to see if I could still get it done on the PC version. It turned out this guy really wasn't that good in a dogfight. I pretty much had his number the whole time. Now I actually started this channel playing the PC version. I know a lot of you guys are on PC too and wonder why I don't really play on PC anymore. The main reason unfortunately is because I'm looking into the future. If I plan to stick with Battlefield 1 for the long term, I know that the PC population will decline a lot faster than the console population. That's just a fact about multi-platform games in this day and age. That's not to say that I don't love playing on the PC. Controlling the plane with a mouse is definitely a joy. You feel a lot more connected to your plane and you feel a lot more connected to your opponent in a dogfight. As we experience more technical difficulties in the gameplay footage, sorry about that guys. Unfortunately, I don't get free PCs from Origin like Level Cap. But on that note about controls, there's definitely something to be said about the simplicity of using a controller. It definitely feels really snappy and you don't have to lift and drag your mouse. I've actually mainly flown on PC since Battlefield 3. I actually had to sit down for a couple weeks to try to learn the controller for Battlefield 1. Now that I've had a couple months playtime on PS4, the controller is definitely my main method of control. I built a great comfort level with it that I really don't have on PC anymore unfortunately. However, I can still jump on PC without so much as a warm up and still be competitive against very high level pilots. At least in a dogfight, I tried to do a straight front on A flag on Foul Fortress and crashed. That was embarrassing. But dogfighting is a completely different skill set. Things like plane physics and your overall awareness don't change from platform to platform whether you're using a controller or a keyboard and mouse. So all I'm saying is that my piloting videos are useful whether you're on PC or console. So don't unsubscribe, wink wink. I'm also going to take the time in this commentary to debunk a misconception that people have whether they're playing on console or PC. That misconception is that there's a more hardcore or skilled population on console or PC. That's absolutely not true because I've flown with and against great pilots on both platforms. The only difference between the two is the method of controls. If you ask me to choose, mouse and keyboard is better, but you don't have the choice on consoles, so even playing field. Like I said before, the reasons for me switching to the console version are player population and technical difficulty. There's nothing worse than having a great round of conquest or being in an amazing dogfight, and I can't even get any footage of it. However, I'll probably jump on the PC version from time to time. Next time there's a double XP event, I'm definitely going to finish ranking up and unlocking stuff. DICE did say they were going to add stuff for the rank 50 classes. Anyways guys, I really just want an excuse to post these two dogfights I had against this guy. It actually gave me great comfort in knowing that he went 57 and 2. For those of you that are new to piloting, you don't really have to worry because there's not that many of th these kind of guys out there. The game's still in its infancy and we're all trying to learn, just like everyone else. There's plenty of time to sharpen your skills because there's a huge casual player base and there will be for months and maybe years to come. With all that said and done, I think this dogfight is pretty close to coming to an end. I think the guy crashes or something he just kind of disappears off the face of the earth. Appreciate you guys watching my dogfighting videos. Stay cool and I'll catch you later. losing.